this has been in the works for a very long time, but it seems like it's finally been approved. The European Union has stated through legislation that all cell phone manufacturers must switch to USB-C for the charging ports on their handsets by autumn 2024. Whatever that means exactly. I'm guessing by October 2024. I'm not sure why they're not giving it a set date, but whatever. The point is, though this applies to all manufacturers, in reality, it's a jab at Apple. They still lag behind most of the other manufacturers because they insist on maintaining the lightning port, which they introduced in 2012 with the iPhone 5, which I think I still have it here somewhere. This thing right here. This is the first iPhone that ditched the 30-pin um, connector. That's where it all started. And uh, at the time, it had some some of the features that we came to appreciate in a more broad sense with USB-C, like the fact that you can plug it in in any direction, right? So they moved to that and everything else moved to USB-C, which is far more convenient. Most of the things I use today charge over USB-C, like just reaching out at my desk here at random. These are my headphones. They charge over USB-C. I have a random Chinese emulation machine that charges over USB-C. I have my uh, Z Fold 3, the Samsung folding phone, third generation, charges over USB-C. It's just so much work. My drone, I have one of my drones here that also charges over USB Type-C, right there. So it's an ubiquitous charging port that allows you to just take one charging cable when you go away with your tablet or your, your cell phone, your uh, headphones. It's far more convenient, and it's kind of embarrassing that Apple has fought back on this innovation by claiming, and this is the weird thing, they claim that legislation that regulates charging ports on devices like cell phones stifles innovation, but USB-C is the innovation that they're willingly not adhering to because it's a profitable business to charge these. I don't know how much they charge for these cables. They don't last very long, and... It's, it, I remember still having to buy new lightning cables every so often, especially if you buy them at a, like a gas station. For some reason, gas station um, lightning cables, they only last like three, four days. They're good for like one road trip when you couldn't find yours. On the other hand, USB-C is everywhere. And I don't miss the times when I had to have like three or four different cables by my nightstand to charge all my different devices. I love the fact that I can charge everything with just the same cable. It's far more convenient when, you know, when you're at a friend's house uh, and you need to charge your devices. And the weird thing is that Apple themselves already use USB-C on some of their newer iPads. My iPad, I have two, and they both use lightning cables, which is the one reason I still keep them in the office and by my nightstand. And I hate that. I absolutely hate that. And I have debated buying a newer iPad, not because I really need a new iPad, because for what little I do on my iPad anymore, like basically reading comics and watching videos when I'm cooking, I don't really need a new iPad, but it's that's how much I hate depending on that one lightning cable. When I have to travel and I have to take my iPad, I have to find the lightning cables because I don't have that many anymore. I have USB-C's coming out the wazoo here, but every time I have to take my iPad someplace, I'm like, okay, where did I put the spare lightning cable? It's hard to find. It's 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 annoying. So much so that I consider buying a new iPad. And I just there's just no benefit to insisting on this proprietary format. It creates a lot more electronic waste, which ironically, that was Apple's argument to ditch bundling chargers with their devices. They're worried about uh, e-waste, but obviously they're not when a big part of their business is selling dongles and cables uh, that are proprietary that you can just, I mean, nowadays you can buy cheap ones on like at a gas station, like I mentioned, but those for some reason never last very long. So you're kind of stuck with buying overpriced lightning cables, right? So this, in my opinion, is a good move. I wish it wasn't necessary. I wish Apple would let go of that that uh, I don't even know what to call it, like their, their insistence on having proprietary. Dude, like I have a few devices that are older here on my desk, like my PSP Go, for instance, that uses proprietary t cables. And the idea that Apple looks at that and thinks, you know what, we should maintain that business model. That's what we should do. We should have people have a separate, like one cable that charges everything in their life and then our cable just to annoy them. I mean, not just to annoy them. As I mentioned, I know it's a big part of their business to sell these dongles and cables and things like that. But 
I think this is a move in the right direction. One interesting way Apple could skirt the regulation is by ditching the charging port altogether, which may sound strange, but wireless charging has been a thing for a while. It is a little bit slower, but it could improve the waterproofing of the phone if anybody needs that improved. I haven't had a problem with my phones and water. Like It's funny because when phones started making this transition to being waterproof, I thought it was great, right? Because it's just... Now I don't have to worry about dumping my phone in water. But that has never happened to me. And I've heard some horror stories about people like letting go of their phones when they're in the toilet and it goes right in. And the water damage is the least of my concerns in that scenario, to be honest, if I'm sitting in the toilet. But yeah, so they could do that. They could ditch the charging port altogether, charge it wirelessly. Now, iPhones, they would have to come up with some technology to make wireless charging a little bit faster. It's a little slow. Right now, like I wouldn't, it's it's convenient being able to just plop your phone down on a surface and then it's charging there. I like having uh, wireless chargers around the house, like by the TV or whatever, by the kitchen, just dump it there and it's charging for a little bit. But it's not the best charging experience, especially because if you have one of those by your bedside, one thing you're going to notice is that you can't use your phone while it's charging. So though a completely uh, charging portless is that is that how you'd say that is the grammar right on that one uh, an iphone without a charging port um is not the most outrageous thing imaginable this has been kind of in talks for a while at least the rumors say that it has maybe now is the time when apple goes okay you guys want to screw with our business model fine no charging port there you go how do you like them apples right it would be wiser i think to just play ball and just they have already used USB-C for iPads for, for years now. So the fact that the European Union needed to pass legislation to force them to do the same for iPhones, a move that I'm certain is not going to to, to be a hassle for their, their users, because I'm sure that by now they have a bunch of USB-C cables lying around already, right? So, But let me know what you think. Like, I don't use iPhones anymore. Maybe there's iPhone users out there that prefer the Lightning cable for some technical reason that only the super nerds know about let me know because i want to know is is the lightning cable better than USB-C? let me know in the comments down below i know i've been away for a while and as you can see things look very different here but that's good because all the work that i had in setting this up will ensure that i'll keep making videos again <laughs> if you like what i do follow me on social media i'm very active over there both twitter and instagram i share a bunch of behind the scenes uh, shots and stuff i'm recording this live on twitch right now at the moment my twitch channel is exclusively portuguese but i'm thinking about doing english streams in a while uh, coming up soon who knows so stay tuned that's all the time i have for today i'm izzy and i'm done <laughs>